This is what the Hanover School District is considering putting to an end. We love trans kids! Yes, we do! This was a student walkout in March at Atley High School. <laughs> Students say the walkout was in protest over the school board decision to not adopt a 2020 state law to allow transgender or non-binary students to use the bathroom or locker room of the gender they identify. They also held it in protest of the board consulting with the Alliance Defending Freedom to review the county's equity policy. The ADF has been labeled as a hate group by Southern Poverty Law Group, but views itself as an organization protecting religious freedoms. Where students simply can't come and go as they please, which has never been the case. The first presentation of the proposed code of conduct was presented at the Tuesday night board meeting. This is a matter of safety that's you not not unique in any way to our school division. The proposed policy would discipline students for any demonstrations, protests or walkouts that are within the school setting that distract from teaching. That could be either physical, written or verbal. The code already addresses that you're not allowed to leave instruction. It should be addressed the same regardless. Board members asked clarification questions if they felt it violated First Amendment rights and if it was a safety issue. And the amount of resources we have to allocate to make sure that our students are staying safe is significant. I am comfortable with that particular language. It's not infringing on free speech. It's more about protecting the learning environment. Some public also weighed in on the proposal. These sentences seem to outline a policy that is overly restrictive and make me worried that I could be subject to suspension for expressing my views. I can't help but say that this feels like part of a continued campaign against trans and non-binary students of Hanover County. CBS 6 consulted with a First Amendment expert about Hanover's proposed policy. They say schools do have the liberty to restrict walkouts and possibly speech on shirts if it becomes distracting. However, they state it can be a gray area. It's kind of like beauty. It's in the eye of the beholder. Disruptive is what we take it to be. They'd have to be punished, and then they'd have to take the school to court claiming that it, they've violated their First Amendment rights um, according to the, the Tinker decision. Other Central Virginia districts weighed in on their current walkout policies. The Henrico School District says students don't lose rights when they enter the school. The county supports students who stay on property and engage in social and civic learning experiences. The Chesterfield District says they ensure students are safe during student walkouts and refer to the code of conduct if students leave campus and don't return when prompted. The board did not vote on this tonight. They plan to vote on it at their next school board meeting in June.